Doug Sauter's uh, came in here today to, to join us in the press conference and if you guys have any questions for him about the old Central Hockey League or or the Blazers back in the way back in the day he can probably tell you more than I can and um, you know I was uh, fortunate enough to call this man my coach for 10 years and taught me a lot about not only hockey but life and, and, and being a Blazer and so if you guys have questions for Doug well I'd like to say and I don't know if you have to move the mic or not uh, you know it's nice to see that uh, Blazer hockey is alive and well. In the last couple of years, uh, young men that wore the junior Blazer uh, uniform represented this city very well. And uh, the fans that came out and saw the games, I think, were very entertained and uh, very excited. And now, uh, taking uh, the junior uh, Blazers to a new level and uh, reviving the, the Central Hockey League with uh, some of our foes and uh, by uh, this time next year when the, the league uh, starts, there might be a Tulsa, there might be a Wichita in the, in the league. Uh, these six uh, teams have already committed, and now uh, there will be other teams, and uh, Tyler told me about a phone call today from a former uh, Central Hockey League. So it's nice to see uh, hockey revived again, and there is a lot of people that... Uh, I get asked the question all the time, and I'd like to congratulate uh, Tyler and Brian and all the other f uh, people that are involved in uh, this organization the last couple of years because uh, they've done a good job, and they continue to try to improve the hockey and to give uh, the fans, the hockey fans of Oklahoma and Oklahoma City uh, and surrounding area a team that they can cheer for and get back on the bandwagon. Uh, we're not OU, we're not OSU, we're the Blazers. And uh, for the uh, 13 years that I coached here, uh, I enjoyed it so much I haven't moved. Uh, I'm uh, still living here in Oklahoma and uh, proud to be associated. And, and uh, when I uh, get a call from Tyler or any of my players, I uh, want to help them. And uh, I enjoyed the, the playoffs last year. We were very exciting here. It came down to an overtime uh, game in which, uh, unfortunately, the Blazers lost. But uh, I can remember a few of those games that we had won. So uh, hockey is alive and well in Oklahoma City. Coach, you were talking about uh, how proud you were of Tyler and the organization and reviving Blazers hockey. For many people, that loss when that time came, they, they felt it. They is it safe to say that as long as this organization run by this gentleman is, is alive, that Blazer Hockey will continue to be played here in Oklahoma City? Well, I'm very confident in it, and uh, there's a lot of work behind the scenes. You know, it's one thing just having training camp and uh, putting together a group of young men and uh, making a team. There's lots of work behind the scenes and lots of support is needed. And uh, I'm quite sure that the organization they have, and uh, it's a, at a different level as far as uh, advertising and ticket prices. It's very affordable, and it's a family uh, event. And uh, you can come down here next year and see the uh, present Blazers before they do move to the Central Hockey League play, and they play a very exciting brand. And you're up close and personal in this little building. Uh, I brought people to the game that had never been to a game before, and they said, this is, uh, this is like sitting in the front row at a rodeo. It's uh, the banging and crashing that goes on and uh, the hard work of the, these young men trying to improve and trying to uh, get to uh, the pro level or to get to a NCAA uh, scholarship level is very, very important to them. And uh, I uh, applaud uh, Tyler and... Uh, no, I don't want to coach anymore, and no, I don't want to uh, do a lot of things. I'm retired, but uh, I will help and give support.